recuerdo clásico, hijo de su madre. madre. Bueno, yo quiero jugar esto más. ¿Ok? I'm not watching this video for any new guys. I'm making this video for my mom. She's in the hospital. So, I'm rushing for her to come back. So, I don't want to take my medicine too because I have a certain drug that she does. So, yeah. I'm not taking any type of empty medicine. So, yeah. I'm not going to take it. Go for the same ones because as you can see, doesn't. Oh, guys, do you want to see a movie with me? Do you want to see a movie? Sure. So dumb, bro. Bro. Now I'm going to go to the six. Okay, it's this is a new kitty, so don't be making fun of her. There you go, now we put it oh, perfect. Because we'll probably be watching this with us. Yeah. 
on the YouTube channel. <laughs> what do you think? Funny. <laughs> this is our new delivery man. Well, he's actually going to be delivering mommy's package because I just set up the new Ring Video Doorbell 3. So what I was thinking is what better way to deliver mommy's package than with creepy skeleton man just sitting here with her package. What do you think? Really funny. Right? Yeah. Okay, here's the plan. You're going to go hide over here, and then I'm going to go in the house and act like nothing's going on. And then I'm going to pretend like I got a notification on my phone from Ring that someone is outside of our front gate, which is Mr. Creepy Skeleton Man. And I'm going to show Mommy, and she's going to freak out that there's just some weird thing sitting with the box that she's been waiting for. <laughs> You want to do it? Yeah. All right, let's do it. You go hide over there, over there, by the lemon tree. All right, all right. You ready? Okay. Well, hello, guys. Hi. Oh, my favorite girl. Awesome, little one. Oh, hey. She heard you. Oh. What is all this? This is called teasing. <laughs> oh, guys, she is teasing, but she's taking it like a champ, huh? She's so playing. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. What the heck? Well, I just set up the ring and video door about three oh. earlier, oh. and I just got a notification. That's one just sitting there? What was that? It looks like a person. It's like a soulmate. What is a package? <coughs> are you waiting for a package? Yeah, I was expecting someone to come, but why are they just sitting there? Uh, we um, should go look at that. That weird. What? Yeah, we should go look. That's weird. Why are they just sitting there? Don't wait. Find me tomorrow. Hello? Hello? Hi, 
I'm making sure that it's okay. They're good. You good? Nice one, buddy. All I saw were his teeth, and I almost had a heart attack. Sorry, Belle. Sorry to break even worse news to you. That's not yeah, that the package you've been waiting for. No. But guess what I did install? Which was the easiest thing I think I have ever installed in my life. Wow. And I'm actually, it's fantastic. I'm actually really excited. Look how pretty it is. It's very pretty. Look at this. Yeah, it looks like it's custom. And it even comes in. It comes with a silverish. Like a... Okay. I don't know what to watch. Mmm, just give me a Next generation of cheesecake is used in the third series by the four ninety nine. It hires one of your in the drive through. That dude has to go to jail, bro. As you can see, we have a lot of black magazines, a lot of black locks uh, on the table, and uh, we're going to shoot all of these guns. I get a lot of questions about which bottle is best. I mean, over and over. Probably the, the most common question of all the, the many, many, many messages I get on YouTube. That's probably the number one question. Which block would you recommend? It, Often, I'll get some qualifiers, you know, hey, I have a 9, which of the 40 should I buy, you know, I, I get something to work with. But then, lots of times, I'll get a message, which is the best block? Yeah, what's the best block? Which block should I buy for my first guy? Well, obviously, there's about 14 questions I'd like to ask the person before I can make a good recommendation. Uh, sometimes, I'll just uh, recommend, you know, block 19. You can't go wrong with that. But generally, I need to know some more information. Uh, you understand that. What I thought I would do today is bring the, the various models out that I have and got enough magazines to demonstrate each one. Uh, and what I want to do is go through pretty much each of the models. So I'm going to try to take my time. I want to answer a lot of these questions. And for those of you who don't get to gun shows or gun shops very much, it's very difficult for you to, to do the comparisons. Well, I like got shot. Yeah, hopefully this will help. All right. So this is kind of for you all. For the people who do not have extensive experience with blocks, and, and maybe you're not even certain of the differences between the, the thickness of some of the slides and just how big they are, maybe long, you know, uh, that the particular models might be, right? So, uh, one qualifier, who, uh, you know, I do like blocks, and uh, I'm not a Glock sales rep, I don't get anything from Glock. Uh, if I had a 
table full of uh, SIGs or a table full of uh, XDs or MMPs, uh, HMKs. I'm sure they all work just fine. You know, I'm sure I could shoot them just fine. You know, if they were 50 bucks a piece, I'd probably buy some more of them and, you know, just play with them sometime. But I do like blocks. And so uh, I just uh, have kind of stuck with, with them. They work. They're small. They're very uh, dehorned, as they say. Uh, to me, uh, some of the other guns, the competition uh, offers are great guns. But I don't know. It just seems like the slide is a, a bigger affair on, on some of them. And they're a little bit more involved. They're roll pins and things. With the Glock, you can take it completely apart, replace any part uh, with ease. And, and maybe some of the others, too. I'm just not aware of it. But uh, anyway, uh, just want to say that. You know, I do like Glocks, but I know there's a lot of good guns out there. And you, you probably have some of them. Uh, okay, Glock 26, that's what I was just shooting as we opened. The Glock 26, very popular little Glock, 9mm. It is the subcompact, the smallest of the Glock line. And it is a wonderful little gun. A lot of people have this. Glock 26, it's a great gun for concealed carry uh, or for open carry or for keeping on top of the refrigerator, you know, whatever you want to do with it. It's a wonderful little gun. I have uh, videos on, of course, most of these guns, so I'm not going to go through a big shooting spree on each one of them. We are going to do some shooting. With the Glock 26, uh, subcompact, closed it up. Glock 19, okay, it's, let's close it up. Let's do a little comparison of size. Okay, for those of you, again, who don't get to gun shops and, and have a hard time comparing some of these guns. Let me just lay them on top of one another. You kind of see the difference. So I'll line them up there. See the length on the... Hmm, what is that? First, they're sour. Then, they're sweet. Sour Patch Kids. Sour, sweet, gone. Drop a like in the next five seconds and you won't have school next week. If you don't, you'll end up having Saturday school. The amount of new Fortnite glitches from this Fortnite update is absolutely crazy, but honestly, I can't say I'm too surprised considering how massive the Fortnite 14.10 update was. I've got mythic weapon glitches, unlimited XP glitches, and many more glitches that actually work, so make sure you watch them all because I guarantee you haven't seen at least some of these. I'm still adding a ton of you guys every single day, and if you want a free gift from the item shop, drop a like, subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a a comment with your epic ID so I can add you. I decided to give five subscribers to Hunter Superhero Skin today, so yeah, shout out to all you guys watching this because you guys are helping me get to that one million subscriber dream goal. And if you want me to continue making YouTube videos, please take three seconds to put Doom in your Fortnite item shop next time you get on because it's what allows me to put so much time into these videos. Alrighty, so for glitch number one, you're gonna need a Storm's Tornado ability, and it's really simple. All you have to do is emo and then instantly use her ability and you'll start flying around as if you were in creative mode so you can get hit while using this glitch you're not invincible but you cannot use your other weapons or abilities so it's more just like kind of a troll glitch just to mess with the enemies or mess with your friends or something like that orange guy actually said that you need to use a traversal emote to do this but i think you can just use any emote maybe a traversal emote makes it a little bit easier to do but yeah next time you get on give it a shot and mess with some people in your game all right and for glitch number Number two, we have a super awesome glitch. It's honestly my favorite out of all of them. So what you need is at least one pepper and then the Iron Man's Repulsor's Gauntlets. And it's super, super easy. Just pop a pepper like you usually would and then start swimming in the water as fast
fast as you can, and as you're coming up out of the water, use the Repulsor's boost jump ability, and you will send yourself flying so far, so fast. And yeah, you can shoot while you're in the air, of course, and go whatever direction you want. That's why I love this so much. Like, I'm really going to try and use this every single match if I can, because it would be so fun to just fly straight at an enemy. Like, they would not expect it at all. So yeah, super easy glitch too, and I hope you guys have fun with it. All right, and for glitch number three, it has to do with the brand new Midas flopper that is actually in the game right now. So with the new update, they brought out the Midas and Vendetta flopper, as you guys know, and the Vendetta flopper has been caught. It is rare, but if you spend a decent amount of time, you're probably going to get it. However, right now, the drop rate of the Midas Flopper is at 0%, and the only way of getting the Midas Flopper yourself is by changing the game files, which you need to be on PC for, and setting it up so it's actually able to be caught. So yeah, if you're super smart and know how to go through the game files and do all that, then you can show your friends like this. But yeah, it's pretty difficult, and I thought I would just keep you guys updated on the whole Midas Flopper situation. Moving on to glitch number four, I'm going to show you guys two ways you can get into the new Iron Man vault without needing the key card. So shout out to Glitch King for showing us how to do it using the boat first. And basically you have to get a boat all the way to Stark Industries and then place it on top of the vault over here. And then he's going to show you guys how to place all the builds in the correct spot. And then you have to move your boat in this spot and then place a ramp like right over you. Then of course get inside the boat and basically you just gotta enter and exit the boat constantly as fast as you can and once you get it just right you and the boat will fall through the floor and be right inside the vault ready to eliminate whoever got the card and next tack x6 is going to show you guys how to get in using a car so i think this way is a little bit better just because there's actually cars around this area but once again you have to take it to where the vault is obviously and then drive it right above the vault but before you actually take the car up there you you gotta place two walls just like this and then also a ramp kind of like I do with the boat except you're gonna flip it the opposite way then basically you have to hug the right wall and move forward into that little corner and then kind of do the same thing as with the boat and exit and enter the car constantly and then eventually you should be able to fall through the ceiling of the ball so yeah big shout out to glitch king and tag x6 for finding these all right and for glitch number five we actually have an instant revive glitch now unfortunately we only have footage of this glitch and I'm not sure exactly how to do it but you guys may be able to figure it out. What I can tell from this clip is that there is a lot of loot in this area. There is a player down and there is a reboot card all right next to each other. So I'm thinking the player that was that went to revive his teammate was like spamming square or the use or pick up button and somehow this happened. So I don't know if like he hit revive first and then instantly went to hit the reboot card and then it just like made him instantly revive. I'm not sure like what the order was because we don't have the other person's perspective but there definitely is an instant revive glitch that you guys may be able to figure out okay guys and for glitch number six i'm going to show you the first of two unlimited xp glitches so basically this will work in any game you don't need anything special you just have to go and land on the northwestern portion of the sphere on this little mountain it's one of the new quinn jet sites so basically as soon as you land here you will get these pop up to the new landmark Quinjet Patrol Echo 2 as well as a thousand XP for discovering a new landmark and well the catch of this is that this landmark is glitched and every single time you come here it'll say new landmark discovered so you guys will see me go into my next game here and then go and land in the same spot and even if the jet doesn't go there this game it'll still count so yeah obviously a thousand XP isn't crazy but it is something to keep in mind if you're just playing casually because you could just go to this spot on the map every single game and just get a free 1000 xp so yeah just keep that in mind next time you're playing all right guys and for glitch number seven there is apparently a way to get a spider-man wrap now i don't think this is actually officially a spider-man wrap but basically sometimes emojis from your hero skin can appear on your weapon wrap so i think it just so happens he was using the red wrap with the spider on his hero but yeah i'm not sure if this works in game but if it does that 
that would be super, super cool. Okay, and for glitch number eight, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to turn your car into a super crash pad. So obviously for this, you need a car and at least one crash pad. So walk over to the front of the car and aim the crash pad so the center is going like right on the hood. And then once you do that, you can just destroy the crash pad. And now every time you jump on the hood, it's gonna send you like twice as high. However, you do take fall damage for some reason. So you're either gonna need more crash pads or one of the mythic abilities to see. You've got a big list. We've got teeny tiny prices. You may not have heard of Sierra, but you've definitely heard of the brands we sell. The biggest names in boots, jackets, ski gear, and everything you need. Okay. I kind of forgot about the gun. He's a Satan from taking damage. Alrighty, and for glitch number nine, we have an even more extreme crash pad glitch. This one is way cooler, I can't even lie. But for this one, you're gonna need to go and find Iron Man, take him out, and grab his Unibeam. And then you're also gonna have to find a stack of crash pads as well. And then once you do that, you just have to get on a slightly elevated surface, like a ramp, jump off the ramp, and then instantly use Iron Man's Unibeam ability. And while you're in the process of using that ability, the press X to deploy crash pad should pop up so you just gotta instantly spam X or your jump button and it will throw a crash pad while you're in the animation and you're gonna be stuck floating here all weird like super super slow but you just gotta give it a second because as soon as you hit the crash pad it's gonna send you flying way 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 up into the air to the max height and yeah you get a really weird FOB like you can see your shoes and then once you hit a certain portion it's gonna force you to fall back down and you will actually take fall damage from this so you need to land back on your crash pad or have some other way of not taking fall damage but yeah if you had this in like the silver surface board you can basically get all the way across the map and i think it's a really really cool glitch all right and for glitch number 10 my boy homa game showed me this insane way to find horses on the fortnite map so basically They're what you want to do is go into your settings and then go to the first video or display settings and then go to your graphics settings and colorblind mode section, change your brightness to 50%, your colorblind mode to Deuteranope, and then the colorblind strength all the way to 10. And then you'll notice when we exit out, the map looks completely different, but it will be way easier for you to spot horses from really far. Like I already got one, here's another, there's another one all the way out there. And this is Battle Lab, by the way, which is why there's so many spawning, but I just wanted to show you guys how much easier it is. Wait, is that one out there holy yes it is oh we got a close one right here another one way out here on the mountain but yeah it's super useful to look at these you know when you're flying in another one here so i just wanted to show you guys this cool little glitch and wait a second is that one all the way out here no way 870 meters bro but yeah try it out yourself okay and for number 11 it's not really a glitch it's more of like a little secret or a little easter egg but if you land at tony stark's house right in this really big bush oh it i actually didn't know that you down to a secret yeah, garage where one. like tony stark's little mini headquarters is and there's a yeah, bunch of chests down them. here there's the tony stark whiplash and yeah i don't know how many people know about that entrance way but it's a good way to go you know if someone else is landing here with you or something so i thought I'll just show you guys just in case you didn't know moving on to number 12 once again you're gonna have to go and defeat iron man this time to get his repulsor gauntlets and then once you get those you'll also need to go and find crash pads again and then once you do that you want to throw a crash pad on like an angled surface you can even place a ramp if you want to and you want to use the in-air boost jump ability and then once you're floating you want to hover above the crash pad and then land on top of it and it will send you flying so so far like this is practically the most op launch pad in the game and yeah it's really quick really easy you know you can continue to use it over and over again and i believe the peppers make it even more effective so yeah pretty cool stuff definitely makes these gauntlets worth having okay guys and for glitch number 13 there is actually a way to get under the map at lazy lake i believe using a car now this dude only uploaded a video to reddit of him being stuck and not knowing to get out so i don't know how he actually fell under the map but there is a car under the map with them so maybe like the vault 
glitch. Maybe he was getting in and out at a certain point and he fell under the map. So if any of you guys want to mess around and try it at that location, let me know if it works and then I can give an update to this glitch. But there definitely is a way to get under Lazy, which would be super overpowered if you knew how to do it. But anyways, moving on to number 14. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about this already, but I wanted to include every single spot where you can get underwater. There's areas where you can walk underwater. There's areas where you can drive a car underwater. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to show you guys as many spots as possible. Now there's certain areas where you can just walk in and there's other areas where you have to like jump in a certain way. So make sure you pay attention to that or you can glide in at certain spots. But yeah, these are like the main areas that seem to be where you can stand underwater and troll people. If you want to give it a go or show your friends or something next time you're playing, then here you go. These are the best spots and driving the car underwater is pretty funny as well. So definitely give that a shot because I'm not sure how long it'll stay in the game. I imagine though that something like this might be a little bit more difficult unless they add like a barrier or something. I don't really know. But yeah, regardless, give it a try. And finally for number 15, this is a huge, huge XP glitch that was never in Fortnite before this season. And that is you can literally just sit in creative and do nothing and get XP forever. So do not do creative fill, you have to do creative no fill. And you can literally just sit in creative. You can go outside, you can do whatever you want. And in those four hours, you will be racking up XP. I think it registers every 15 minutes. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna start doing this just because why not? You know, if you ever have to go or do something or even do it while you're sleeping, you can just leave your game on while you're sleeping and you're gonna level up some, you know, for doing absolutely nothing. So yeah, I think this is a really huge glitch right now. I do not think they meant to do this because it used to be that you would only get XP for one punch card but in creative, but now that you just get XP infinitely, this could be pretty broken. So honestly, I would suggest doing this as fast as possible because I feel like this is something they could probably patch pretty quickly. So definitely get on that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for the video. If you made it this far, comment Galactus in the comments. I shut up, bro. Oh, this one looks cool, guys, right? Oh, yes. Tonight, I'll be eating crab cakes with spicy aioli. Thank you. Can we eat that in the mobile? I guess. Should we just not know? Oh my god. Good morning, San Diego. Come on, Lazy Bones. 